Now to the very latest on the coronavirus and new numbers just in from the state. 33,551 new cases over the past two days. That averages out to 16,000 cases per day, and it's right in line with what we saw earlier in the week. 210 new deaths also being reported over that same two-day period. Now let's take a look at that seven day moving average. This is over the past three Fridays. You can see the average is still on the rise, but the pace seems to be leveling off just a bit. Today's average of 17,080 is the highest it's ever been. This afternoon, the White House COVID response team held a briefing to update Americans on several key points, including those free tests and new research on the impact of the boosters against Omicron. The CDC director now saying it's clear the boosters do have a big benefit. During December, when Omicron was first emerging, unvaccinated adults had a five times higher risk of infection when compared to adults who had received a booster dose. The CDC releasing three large new studies showing boosters increased protection against Omicron. As you can see, case rates are highest among those who are unvaccinated, represented by the black line on the top graph. Case rates are lower for those who have received their primary series, represented by the light blue dotted line, and lower still for those who have received their booster dose, represented by the solid blue line at the bottom of the graph. While cases appear to have peaked in some places hit first by the latest surge, Dr. Rochelle Walensky warned Omicron isn't over yet. We still are at um, extraordinarily high levels of disease in almost all of the places in, in even in areas where cases are starting to come down. Meanwhile, the team says millions of Americans have already placed their orders for free at home COVID tests. Tests started shipping yesterday. Uh, we're hearing stories of some already arriving today. The Postal Service is moving incredibly fast here. They are packing and shipping tests immediately as they arrive. Tens of millions of tests have arrived so far. It's an all hands on deck effort. And those tests will definitely be needed while cases are starting to decrease in some places. Health officials do expect the search to continue in other parts of the country for a few weeks still.